let me take you back to a day, to a year, where Destiny was just way more fun, way more addictive, and just had better content week to week than it does right now. Now I'm going to take my time telling this story so I can get the video over 8 minutes and play some mid-roll ads. Just kidding. Anyway, let's talk about Nightfall's raids and weekly rotation in the game. Back in Destiny, you had to do the Nightfalls to get exotics. There was no exotic engram drops. There was nothing like that. You had to do end game activities to get exotics. That was the raid. And that was the Nightfall, pretty much. This meant that when you did these every single week, here on YouTube, you would see raid rewards or Nightfall rewards as weekly videos. And people love them because the game actually made you play activities to get special items and that is what this game lacks at least until now because now we have nightfall rewards specific nightfall rewards where every week you can play and farm the nightfalls and get one of the old weapons that are coming back this week is the shadow price so back in the day the rotation was you'd come on at tuesday at six o'clock you would do all of your raids on all three characters and then you would do all three nightfalls and get it all done on Tuesday. Then for the rest of the week, you would do other things, mainly PvP. Now, while it lacked day-to-day -day content, it was good for week-for-week -week content because you had to do the raids, you had to do the nightfalls to get the exotics. In this game, in Destiny 2, yes, there is more things to do day-to-day, -day, but that kind of satisfaction of getting rewards just isn't there. So the day-to-day -day grind becomes boring, repetitive, and just not worth doing. In the original Destiny, when you did the Nightfalls and you did the raid, you knew you were guaranteed to get some special, well, not guaranteed, because sometimes you could get like 20 motes of light or something like that, but you know, you have more chance of getting a special exotic reward or the actual raid of rewards every single time that you did it. It just felt good. It felt like a big event in the week. It just felt like this I have to do right now. I have to jump on. I have to do this. We have to get everyone together. We have to do this. We have to do the Nightfalls because I want all my rewards. I want to do it. I just... That's how I felt. It just had that intensity to it. It just felt I have to do it. Now, with the rotation of Destiny 2, it's very much just like, okay, I'm going to do my one um, hero ranked Nightfall and then one normal one and just get the powerful reward. And then when you get to you know your max light level that you can be the powerful reward doesn't matter so there's no point in doing nightfalls anymore but that has changed this week obviously is sepix prime and it's an incredibly fun nightfall i absolutely love it i'm gonna sit here and grind this all week to try and get a perfect rolled shadow price now i have done the nightfall four times and had one shadow price drop up till now um, and then hopefully, you know, once I finish all of my leveling up stuff, I could just sit and farm the Nightfall and try and get a God Roll Shadow price. And you see, that's good. That's what makes, you know, things worth grinding because it's like, okay, I'm definitely going to get a reward that I can't get anywhere else by doing this activity. And it also makes the farm for Enhancement Cores and Enhancement Prisms more natural because you're looking for a weapon and they're just like a byproduct of running this over and over and over again. And I do believe with this update, this is the best thing they've added for casual day-to-day -day players you know people who want to farm week by week for specific items i think they have really really made this feel like old destiny and you know this idea was kind of introduced with obviously the lost sectors where you get exotics that are tied to the lost sectors except this makes the nightfall feel really good and really special so i am super happy that they've put this in the game and even if you don't get a perfectly rolled shadow price you know that it's going to come back on another week and there's what the palindrome and the swarm and i think maybe one other weapon so every month for one of the weeks you will get a chance of getting a specific weapon and you just have to keep farming and keep farming and keep farming so once you've got through all your you know pinnacles and powerfuls for the week you can either play pvp and hate it or you could do things like nightfalls and love it and just a brief touch up on you know the actual strike if you're doing it the nightfall strike and you're enjoying it and you want to have more fun I highly suggest using the new exotic bow, the TQ's Divination. You know, a lot of enemies here have solar shields and are vulnerable to solar. So priming them with the Sacred Flame and then hitting them with an arrow and blowing up them and everyone around them is incredible because this has a lot of areas which are very, very closed off, which means you're going to have a lot of groups of enemies on top of you at any one point in time, specifically where you have to do the safety thing, where you have to get rid of all the bar the barriers on the door and all the shanks and all the people are running out of you. That's a really good place to use 
this bow. I would also suggest having a rocket launcher on because the big tank walker thing at the bottom of the map in the next area you can very easily take out with a few rocket shots and then it's just fun from there. You know it took me back to days of doing the nightfall and having to hide in the side rooms to you know kill everything and that is back with Sepix Prime so I'm super super happy to see this strike back. I'm super happy to see that Nightfalls actually have meaning to them and worth to them and I think Destiny 2 are starting to take very little baby steps in making the game something special but who knows they might mess it up. We've seen this before I'm not going to get over excited but right now I'm super happy with where the game is in terms of the Nightfalls. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Really hope this got past the 8 minute mark. We'll find out when you see this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't really care about mid-roll ads. But anyway, thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.